Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Harbringers of Darkness playthrough as Bellacor the Dark Master, where things are not actually going too badly. We are doing okay, we've started a war with the vampires, which we are unsurprisingly winning at this point, because at this point, well, yeah. At this point, we're just destroying everything uh, in our path, because... Well, I, I mean, there's nothing to stop us, really. We're just that goddamn powerful at this point. Um, I will up that, but I want to get the walls going here. And, ooh, 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 I need to... Oh, damn, no, stop. I forgot! Slave Empire. Income from all buildings, 50%. Income from slaves, 20%. That should have up my income a little bit. Let's see... So, 3,600 this turn. In turn, let's see where this goes. Some point I am going to go deal with the owls, but I need to build up a little bit. I need to get another army going first, but hopefully next turn we'll be able to afford that. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm really intrigued as to how much my income is going to be next turn now. Um, we shall see. We shall see. up a little bit. Good God, that is insane. Yeah, it's time to start building another army then. Uh, for me, a warlord. Strunk. Uh, root marcher and let's Wow. Uh, I'll start building in next turn, but once we've got the income in, but that's just insanity, guys. Speak. I will hear you now. So, speak. I will hear you now. I love how quickly. I know some of you are annoyed, but I love how quickly we are making frenzy friends. Agreed. Friends. Uh. Ooh. I want to let them take some... It sounds daft, while I want to go to all of them, I almost I want to let them take a few places first. Yep. Oh, okay, I'm now at war with them. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm starting a lot of wars here, but... We are... We are the shield of man. We are defending... The, uh, Empire... <laughs> We're shielding them from the rest of the forces of chaos so that we can have, we can do what we want to them, effectively. Too easy. I love the cackle at the end of that. Oh, wow. Oof. Just try to work out if there's any of that. Yeah. Gonna work our way down to that one as well, just to buff all my units and make them cheaper.
uh, work out the best way of doing this actually because it's not this way For me, for me, for me, for me. Too many units. It's going to take six turns up here as well. So that's how we'll start anyway. Uh. Yes, buff for Chaos Warriors a bit. There we go. Oh. There we go. So that army is that much tougher now. We're building another perfect army. Um, yeah. <laughs> My other army is basically going to march down here and smash the elves. The elves here bring all that ter territory into our into the fold once it's built, and then we'll curve up and around in in this way. Basically, I want to try and surround the empire as much as possible. Anyway, um, long run, I don't want them to have a coastal port, but I'm going to have to be ready to grab coast ports when they are. Uh, a coastline, but I'm gonna have to be a bit careful with that because obviously, um, I, I'll have to be careful about when I grab things. Well, when they can get things because they can get past me fairly easily. So, uh, so if places like this will have rebellions, and that's when I need to grab them. <laughs> oh, do I see some vampires? Oh my god, it's just glorious, guys. you have to say there we go oh I, I accidentally trespassed oops saving his city he's annoyed at me for saving his city one two we'll leave that at four for now so much money. I, I need more armies. <laughs> um, that I could have started building an army up there as well, but that's fine for now. Okay. That's it. We're going to bring the Empire into the fold. Um, I would love it if I could vassalize them, but they're still too powerful for that. But who knows in the future? See, that's the sort of thing I actually kind of want to avoid, but... Ha! Not a cat in hell's chance. You are going to fall to, to the forces of chaos. I may send this army down and around and into here. Because this army, I'll check how powerful it is. They may be powerful enough to start playing with the Wood Elves. Oh look, I got a buff to make me even more powerful. Not quite comfortable sending them after the elves, if I'm honest. Do not waste my time with petty talk. See, this is also annoying because it, right. it kind of traps me in a bit. Exile. 
Let's push up and hit Erengrad. It's too easy, guys. It's also how quickly we corrupt these. Ooh. Ooh, troll country. Extra chaos corruption. There we go. No, oh, I wanted you to go to sea. Ah! I want it free. Four, five, six. That's sixteen. I'm not sure I really see a point in not having th Thamir Thanar. At least they have slightly less weapon strength. Thin th th Thim, Ethan. But their melee attack is huge. Their melee defense is slightly lower, but let's be honest, it's still big. Ah, these have whatever this is. Ah, okay. That'll do. That is going to be one hell of an army. In four turns time. Slaves. That's not really good. Warrior Elite. Yeah, I don't care about the extra upkeep, he says. <laughs> but it does cost a lot more. But that makes his army much stronger, actually. So, And we're not exactly poor at this point. As we slowly corrupt the Empire and bring them into the fold. <laughs> So the Empire will be corrupted and brought into the fold slowly. And then I'm at this point. This is the point where I'm actually a little bit, what do I do next? Because there's not really a huge amount left to do. We are at the point of this campaign where we are going. I'm still enjoying it at the moment, but I've got a feeling, guys, this is probably coming to an end relatively soon. So by all means, give us ideas for suggestions for what you think I should either do next in the campaign I'm not painting the world, I never do that, because it's just dull. Your desire. Meh, war. You may not be held by them, but you will be soon. Oh god, what the hell? What the hell? Ooh, I think I'm quite lucky I didn't kill him though. Okay. Chaos Keep, that's something new. So I'm certainly burning through my in my new found income quickly with this new army. But that's fine. Because we'll push out our income in other ways, in other places, so. Hmm. Good. All of these buildings are good for us at this point, to be fair. Keep pushing all of this out.
There we go. More income everywhere, please. I'm so annoyed I can't build and toy your fist. What do you think? Chaos corruption, guys. Always extra corruption. See, things like this, Norden, while it's there, you know, some of these places are inevitably going to fall over time simply because our corruption will overwhelm them and cause them to collapse, which is good. Um, so while I want the Empire to... I'm, I'm playing with Thrans at the moment. Um... He won't last forever, you know, in those places. He will struggle with... He will forever be weakened because he's... For, because being next to me, he is going to get constant chaos uprisings just popping up, which he's going to have to be... Pop, he's going to have to constantly be putting down. Um, as of a Skaven going to start soon, hopefully. Um... You can already see the chaos corruption here. Though there was already quite a bit, but you know, I am the chaos corruption. Um, but you can see even down here, it's to be fair, it's more vampiric. But and they are managing to fight it off there. But I can also put some agents there, which will help long run. Going to kind of burn along here, take the Hellkeep. I do not want to push up into the mountains, though I may take the old Dowie territory. I mean, I may push up into the mountains, but it's not one of my main plans. Soon. Soon. Go. Ooh, I didn't realise they were the same place. How is our the Celestial College implores the diplomatic lady. wrangling going? We are still slowly going the right way, obviously. Uh, extra corruption, it's always extra corruption, guys. The world will be turned to chaos. You know, obviously, Franzi will probably have a little green beacon in the middle of it, but it's not going to last forever. Certainly the old world will get covered by us. Did he have halflings? I didn't realise Franz could get halflings. I don't know if he can confederate them actually. So that's the thing is the Empire confederating is gonna be problematic as well, which is why taking up here is good because I can cut them Ah. Oh. Take there then I'll turn around I am going to start, oh no, 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 I am going to actually start hitting certainly the ports along here at least to keep them busy. Next turn. It's gonna be fun. Income, I want income buildings.
Come on, we need more income. I definitely don't need that one there anymore. Oh, I'm scared. There we go. We're getting a bit messy up here, which I'm not actually a huge fan of. Oh, Midden Heartland has reasserted itself. Interesting. I may have to smash them. Uh, I probably can't without going to war with the Empire. Ah, God damn it. It's fine, I can take up here, I can have a bit of a mishmash of territory. It's too easy at this point. There we go. Okay, so yeah. On top of all the heavy invasions. Oh no! Oh, I didn't realize I was there. I'm gonna take it and see what I can build there, because I doubt I'll be able to build, build, build walls. But these are. This is a specialist faction, so sometimes they do get extra options. Oh, okay. I need to turn around and deal with them. I did kind of go up here on a little. A little side mission, so, you know, I may be going to try and peace out with forces in the north now, and that's so I can head back down and deal with the vampires properly. If they'll peace out with me. Right, let's double time down that way. You're gonna keep playing on the. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to go via the sea. Because it's quicker. You're gonna keep playing with the coasts there. You are ready. You're going to march. These two armies are going to move around here. Basically, they're going to come around here and hit the uh, Wood Elves, burn the Wood Elves out, and burn their way up through here, uh, through here, and work out what's going on. They can either go down here and around, or up here. But we'll work out where the best way of getting to the vampires. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, that's where I'm going to end it today, so a bit of a shorter one. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please do feel free to pop any comments if you are um, in the comment section, and like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this, guys. Other than that, as always, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys.